With the first pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, the Cleveland Browns select Baker Mayfield. have fired Joe Philbin. They were planning on doing this last night when they returned to Miami. The one and three start obviously was something that was very disappointing. And for the second straight year, we have now seen a head coach who went over to London, taking a disappointed team there, lose a game, and having that be the final game that he wound up coaching. After what was a disappointing season today, the Finn said Gaze is the right man to lead the team. We have live team coverage beginning with CBS4 sports anchor Mike Cunha. He's live at Dolphins training camp with more. Hey, Mike. Hey, Maribel. Yeah, it was a disappointing season. Six and ten. Dolphins missing the postseason for the seventh straight year. So, of course, they're looking for a new head coach. Now, Stephen Ross told us that he called his friends around the league looking for advice, and one name kept coming back to them, and that was Adam Gase. Tannehill has it. Open. Devontae Parker. And Tannehill is in pain and signaling for some help. And Ryan Tannehill coming back out of the locker room moments ago after being injured late in the third quarter, checking his knee and look at the emotion in his eyes. Some pain. Sometimes the, the looks and the, the reactions by teammates tell the story. And I'm not going to guess what's wrong with Ryan Tannehill, but clearly shaking his teammates and his coaches. Consoling him and Brendan Albert came over right when he came to the sideline and hugged him up. And that's Mike Pouncey there. So can they hold on with Matt Moore right now the Dolphin defense which has done so well against Carson Palmer and David Johnson and Larry Fitzgerald protecting an eight point lead with 514 to go. You know, first of all, let me say this. Adam Gase is not wrong. I understand what his thinking is. You coached the man. You're a couple of years removed from coaching the man. When you did coach him, he had a QBR of 65, passed for nearly 30, over 3,600 yards. Very productive season. He knows your offense. It makes sense when we're considering the fact that it's Adam Case, Adam Gase, rather, who may have made this decision. We get that. Where I jump off the rails, it's not just at the notion that Mr. Jay Cutler was actually being pursued, that there are people actually willing to throw money to this individual who, I mean, who engaged. Bad news night for the Dolphins, guys, though. As you mentioned, big plays left them by Atlanta 23-20. That's the good news. The bad news, a key rookie could be out for the count. We are talking about linebacker Raquan McMillan hurt on his very first professional play, the opening kickoff, and here's how it went. Couldn't really tell if there was much contact, but he goes down with an injured right knee. If it is his ACL, as sources indicate to us, man, he could be out for the year. What a bummer. What the is going on Miami Dolphins just now traded well, an hour ago just now traded Jay and Jay. All right, now I woke up and had a lot of notifications. I knew something was wrong, okay? Because niggas don't, niggas don't hit me up on Twitter and all this. If the Dolphins win it, my notifications is hella, hella light, okay? But when I wake up with a hella notifications, I know some bad things happen, bro. And one of them said, I can't wait for your video to drop. Then I look and I see Jay and Jay got traded. Now, when I see Jay and Jay got traded, bro, I'm thinking about head like, I said, I said, bro, we, who we got, LeGarrette Blunt and who else? I said, because LeGarrette Blunt not worth it. So we got LeGarrette Blunt and probably a second round of the first. Like, that's what I'm thinking in my head. I'm like, I'm like who did we get for him? Because Jay Jai, I f Jay Jai, but if we got something decent, okay, I, I, I feel it, bro. I feel it. So I opened up the article, and these niggas say fourth round drop it? With the 63rd pick in the 2014 NFL draft, the Miami Dolphins select. Jarvis Landry, wide receiver, LSU. Dolphin fans excited with Jarvis Landry. <laughs>
Now, Adam Schefter here working the phones on SportsCenter to get into all of it with breaking news right off the bat. Schefter, what you got? Michael, we have a trade, another trade. The team that traded for Jarvis Landry earlier in the day, the Cleveland Browns. With the 11th pick in the 2018 NFL Draft, the Miami Dolphins select Minka Fitzpatrick, defensive back, Alabama. With the 42nd pick in what? the 2018 NFL Draft, the Miami Dolphins select Mike Gusicki, tight end, Penn State. EA Sports, it's in the game.